Hi everyone, Antoinette here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to talk about the polite smile, which is often called the affiliative smile. Now, the reason why I'm doing this video is because a lot of times people will say, well, this stranger smiled at me. What does this mean? Or said something to a friend of mine and, and they gave me this certain smile. What does it mean? So I am going to break this down. What is the polite smile and five situations when people will use this smile? And to answer the question, is it a real smile or is it a fake smile? We're often told that when people give us a real smile, we not only use our mouth to smile, but we also use our, our eyes and, and our eye muscles will crinkle up showing that it really is an authentic smile. That is a real authentic smile called the Duchenne smile. However, we don't use that smile in every situation. A lot of times, we will use a polite smile. So what does the polite smile look like? It's when we're just using our zygomatous muscles. That's these muscles at the corners of our mouth. And normally in this type of smile, you're not showing your teeth. You're pressing your lips together and your lips go up at the corners to form a smile. Now, although you're not smiling with your eyes, a lot of people, when they are giving a polite smile, which is ideal to do this, and that is to show some warmth through your eyes. And the way that you do that is to really think warmly towards the other person that you're meeting with this polite smile so that that way they'll know that it really is authentic. So it's the difference between looking at someone and smiling with a cold stare like this and warm eye contact like this. So here are the five situations when people will commonly use this type of smile. First of all, with strangers, with people that we don't know, it's a way to be courteous and polite to people that we come in contact with, whether it is maybe a neighbor that you're passing on the sidewalk, somebody that you're entering an elevator with, or a salesperson that you come in contact with. Think about anybody that you really don't know, but you want to convey some type of acknowledgement to that other person, not only giving them eye contact, but also to give them a polite smile. So if you're the kind of person that before where you don't smile at strangers, this is a great smile to do because it does show, shows that you're acknowledging the other person. The second situation where we will commonly use this smile is in a professional situation. So for instance, you're working with people that aren't strangers to you, but it's more of a professional environment. Maybe it's somebody that you have known for years, but you really don't consider them a personal friend. And so a lot of times in this situation, you will continue to use this polite smile to show professionalism and formality while also showing friendliness. The third type of situation when the smile is used is when you are in front of a group of people. Say for instance, you are entering a room full of a group of people or you're being recognized in front of a group of people or you're standing up to give some kind of presentation. This, it would be a great smile to use because once again, you're acknowledging the group of people, but you're doing it in more of a formal professional way. The fourth situation to use this polite smile is whenever you want to show someone that you are listening to them. So say for instance, they're talking to you and you're, they're telling you a story rather than just listen to them with head nods and eye contact to actually periodically give them that polite smile to let them know that you are listening to them. Think about if you're at a doctor's office or you're meeting with some other professional and you're, you're talking to them and periodically they not only nod, but they also give you this polite smile back. It's that reassurance that they're hearing what you're saying and they're receiving what you're saying. 
And the fifth situation is when you want to show compassion for another person. Say, for instance, someone has done something that they are now apologizing to you for because they have messed up and you're wanting to relay to them that you're accepting their apology. And then you also want to give them this polite smile to show that you have compassion for them and that you appreciate the apology. Or it could be that you want to show compassion to them because maybe they're going through something difficult and you want to give that smile of reassurance. So it's that reassurance, it's that compassion smile when you really want to be there for another person. Now, have you wondered about other kinds of smiles, such as this Duchenne smile, which is this big, more broad, authentic smile? And then there's also a smile that is a smile of contempt. I've got a video above and in the description below if you want to check that out. Now, if you like this video, I hope you'll share it with someone and I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.